This is a vintage gold Tudor, which has definitely seen better days, and today I'll be restoring it back to its former glory. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the case, and then from there we can take out the movement. Once the movement is out, we can then remove the hands, as well as the sub-seconds seconds hand, and then remove the movement ring. We'll then loosen the two dial feet screws in order to extract the dial, remove the hour wheel, cannon pinion, flip it over and cut the power. With the power cut we can then remove the ratchet wheel and cram wheel before loosening the barrel bridge screws. Once the screws are removed we can remove the bridge and carefully slide out the barrel before moving on to the drain bridge. Again three more screws and we can lift the plate up. We can then remove the train wheels and loosen up the balance cock screw and remove the balance. Remove the pallets flip it over and then remove the satin lever spring which is actually broken before then stripping down the remaining parts of the keyless. Remove the stem and crown. And then go around cleaning all of the surfaces of the jewels. Refit the balance cock. And continue cleaning jewels. This will make life be easier for the cleaning machine. Open up the barrel and remove the barrel arbor. We can then remove the mainspring. And then put the entire watch through a cleaning machine. Once out, we can then remove the balance and start by fitting this setting lever. In order to fit it, I'll usually hold it in place with some Rodico and then screw it in as normal. We can then fit the yoke. as well as greasing and fitting some intermediate wheels. We can then fit a replacement set in lever spring and screw it down. We can then grease the stem and very carefully fit it in place alongside the winding and sliding pinions. Tighten everything up and grease it. Apply some grease to the barrel before fitting the newly wound and cleaned mainspring. Grease the barrel arbor and slot it into place. Grease the cap and apply some pressure to fit it. Grease and fit the barrel alongside the train wheels. With the train and barrel all set up, we'll then fit the two bridges, this being the barrel bridge, and the second one being the train bridge. Checking everything moves nicely. 
before screwing both the blades down. We'll then fit and grease the crown wheel before fitting the ratchet wheel. Oil all of the train wheel jewels, front and back, but I'm just going to be showing these jewels here. And then fit the pallets. Screw it down and also oil the face of the pallet stone before then oiling the balance cock jewel very carefully fitting it and then oiling the balance jewel in the base plate We'll then grease and fit the cannon pinion as well as the minute wheel and then the hour wheel. Fit the dial washer, loosen the dial feet screws and then fit the dial. The company that I used to restore the dial are called Bill & Sons. I'll leave a link to their website where you can check them out. We'll then fit the sub-seconds hand before then fitting the hour and minute hands. We'll then polish up the case and case back. Before fitting the movement ring and fitting it all within the case back. We can then fit the second part of the case and snap it shut. Get a new strap fitted and there you go. The restoration of this vintage Tudor watch. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again very soon.